Hello and welcome to yet another exploration in the understanding of mathematics with Mr. Hain. Um, today's objective, uh, as you see, is that we're going to be able to find the markup and interest on an item. Now markup and interest are exactly the same thing. Interest is just markup. But as always, before we get started, make sure that you have the date and the week in your notebook. Good. Excellent. So, as we said from the get-go, um, the markup. The markup is a percent markup. Oh, it's definition. Here we go is a percent of the original cost, I said, of the original cost. that is added on to the original price. It's added on to the original price. Now, there's a couple of things that happen. When you're like buying a pair of shoes and they charge you tax, right? When they charge you tax on that shoe, um, the price after tax gets larger. So tax is a way of thinking of markup. Um, sometimes stores will change the price on an item so that they can make more money. That is also a markup on that price. Sometimes banks um, will give you interest on the money that you have deposited in your savings account. So your money is actually giving you more money. That's really cool. That's marking up the amount that's get adding interest to the amount. In all of these cases, what, so what's very important is that the new price or the new amount is larger. It's a larger price after the markup. So we're gonna see um, uh, me do an example and then I'm gonna work out one of the you do's with you and I'm gonna leave you to do you do example number two. Uh, but first, we've gotta get some steps. So here are some steps to remember and uh, to keep us organized um, as we're finding the markup and interest on an item now. Step the first. We gotta add the markup percent to 100. All right, I know what you're thinking. Why the heck am I adding to 100%? Well, here's the thing. As you see in my ad I do example, it's $40. Now that's the original price. That's 100% of the price is just $40. Now we've marked up that price by 12%. So that price is marked up by 12 additional percent. So when we add the markup percent to 100, what I'm doing is taking $40 and I'm adding the 12% on to that $40. So what you're gonna see me do now is what I did in the step, which is to add the markup percent to that 100%, the overall cost. Very important. The second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the percent to a decimal. This is because of what we do next in the third step, but we're gonna change the percent to a decimal, a decimal number. And that's because what we do in the third step is we take and we multiply the price by this markup percent to find the price after the markup. So before I actually get going on the work, remember and, re and make sure, if you have to pause this video, please do, make sure that you have these steps written in your notebook. You're gonna add the per markup percent to 100. You're gonna change the percent to decimal and then multiply them to find the price. And here you're gonna see me do that for the I do example. Point, point, point. Alrighty then. We have 100 plus 12, which equals 112%. Then we have 112. I'm gonna move the decimal twice. Now, you guys might not have caught that, but you saw that I took my pencil and counted two spaces. When you change a number into a, into a, a percent into a decimal, you move the decimal two spaces to the left. Really what you're doing is dividing by 100. That's how I got 1.12% from 112%. I moved it the decimal over, excuse my hiccups, to 1.12. 
Excellent. So then I multiply that times $40. Now, 40, of course, came from my original price, which is $40. I hear the sounds of calculators being whipped out. I see and hear the buttons being pushed or pause the video just like I paused my hand and do the math on your own. I'll be back when you're here. Kaboom, I'm back. All right, here we go. That's $44.80. Now you'll notice this $44.80 is absolutely larger than the original price. And that's because we know that when we find the markup or interest added to an item, it's going to be larger than the original price. So it's larger price after markup. So $44.80 is definitely more than $40. Sweet. All right, so we got a couple of you do problems coming up right here. The first problem is just $320 for a PS3. That store is evil. It's going to add 20% to that cost. So step the first, or the first step, I add 20 to 100. Again, remember I'm adding to that percent because I have 100%, which is $320, and whatever 20% is of that original price, add it on. So I'm going to do that right now in the percent. Kaboom. See if you can actually beat me. Pause the video. What is 120% as a decimal? Did you pause the video? Are you doing the work? Awesome! I know that some people got it. And you should too. It is 120, move the decimal two places, 1.2. I'm going to multiply. Times the original price, which is 320. I know that some people should be pausing the video and doing the math on their own. Have you paused the video? Are you doing the math? Do you want to check your answer? Let's go. That's $384. Sweet! That's an evil, evil store. Now that was example one. Now we're going to check out example number two. Example number two, I have an $80 pair of shoes. Why you ever have to spend $80 on a pair of shoes is just beyond me. But hey, some people do it. I have an $80 pair of shoes and that's going to have a 15% markup. So I'm going to add 15% to that cost. Now, unlike the first you do problem, I am not going to be setting up or writing down on my paper anything that you need. Just giving you some guidelines. You should pause the video. I mean, I pause my video and do the work on your own. I'll be back when you get back. Are you back? Do you want to check your answer? Here we go. 15% markup on an $80 pair of shoes. $92. That's a ridiculous amount of money to spend for shoes. But hey, 15% markup on $80 shoes, $92. Now, remember, when I look at your notes, I need to see the same work that I see here. I need to see on this line for the 15% markup. Here, I need to see the percent as a decimal. And here, I need to see the original price. Multiplied those together to get the answer. Now, you have the answer in the video. That I don't mind. What I do mind is if you're just copying the notes from the video and not doing your work on your own. All right, so we have the summary, and you see it on the screen. And it's asking, um, what is a markup? So you really just need to write down and in your summary what a markup is. If you have to rewind the video, do that. Um, why is 135% equal to 1.35? Again, what's the method? How did you get there? How do you know? Also, what I didn't write is I really want you to show me what the steps are and remember what the steps are for finding a markup or interest added to an original price. And again, you know, as much as I love seeing you guys watch videos about math and watching you guys take notes, I love even more seeing you guys explore the math on your own and doing the work easily. I'm always here for questions. Let me know if you need my help.
Thank you.